Having witnessed the sales success of their UR416 series of vehicles Tyson Henschel completed a prototype of their Condor APC in 1978 their UR416 technique of employing commercial components wherever possible was followed, the Condor uses engine and drivetrain of an Unimog all-terrain truck. The first order, placed by Malaysia and for 459 units, was announced in late 1981. Production has continued ever since with over 600 vehicles having been manufactured by mid-1994. By comparison with the earlier UR416 the Condor is a much larger and heavier vehicle with a more aggressive appearance. It is also fully amphibious, being propelled in the water by a steerable propeller under the hull. The ballistic protection is also improved and there is more internal space for either troops, up to 12, or supplies. The internal layout has also been revised, with the driver seated well forward next to the engine, which is located on the right-hand side of the hull. The vehicle commander is seated behind the driver, with access through a roof hatch to a weapon station which may be protected by a small turret. Optional weapon mountings include a 20mm cannon with a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, while some of the troops carried can fire their personal weapons through weapon ports in the upper hull sides. Some APCs produced for the Malaysian contract have the 20mm cannon one-man turret. There is also an armored personnel carrier version fitted with two turret-mounted 7.62mm machine guns. Other models produced for the same order including command vehicles, an ambulance and a fitter's vehicle provided with a light crane. Other proposed Condor variants include ATGW carriers and models with various types of weapon turret. Air conditioning is optional on all models, as are a collective NBC system, an intercom, night vision systems and a recovery winch. Apart from the vehicles supplied to Malaysia, Condor sales have also been made to Indonesia, Portugal, Turkey, Uruguay and some other undisclosed countries.